Greetings, everybody. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel here on YouTube, Rob K React. I'm Rob K reacting to music each and every day of the week here on YouTube. Let's think about it. Everything's a request reaction from you guys. So please keep the links coming. Keep them coming in any way you can get them to me social media, email, Discord, why, whatever way. I'll try to pick it up. I check it all. I try to keep a regular rotation going the best that I can. So many requests every day. It's impossible to do them all. I do try my best to keep fresh, but it's, it's impossible. One man show. And I, so I do many videos. So I get as many out as I can. Uh, get the requests down. But keep them coming because I love fresh links, fresh requests. Anytime, more of the requests are better chance to get them done. So I'm doing a little mix today. I'm working on a new schedule format this week, playing around, see what I can come up with. And today I did, uh, you know, I did a, a, a personal request from a friend of mine, Tim, and did um, uh, Elvis Presley, uh, which was his request. And then I did a, a wonderful Iranian tune, uh, who I've introduced myself to recently in Iran. Great music scene as well. Just everywhere in the world, man. And just did a Smith's tune. Now we're going to check out some. I was looking for some Happy Mondays, but this caught my eye. So five, six minute video here, mini documentary about Manchester, the scene, the vibe, the hype in the 90s. So I want to check this out, baby. Huge fan of the Roses, Smiths, Oasis, and many other bands I can't name. I'm hoping to see how many I can pick out of this video that I'm aware of. I want to see what the hype was back like in the 90s, fresh off this documentary. Check it out. I'm hoping we'll see Happy Mondays, the Roses, Smiths. I hope we'll see a whole whack of bands I'm currently familiar with and, 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 and working through my channel. Looking forward to this big time. Let's have a check it out. Chester, new music scene, 1990. Let me feel that love, baby. Let me feel that vibe. Let me feel that hype. Well, but for over a decade now, Manchester has been England's musical mecca, producing bands like The Fall, Joy Division and New Order, The Smiths, and most recently, The Stone Roses. Here's more. Wow. Oh, Manchester, so much to Roses. Manchester's oh, always had this image of being a bit dour and right. a bit sort of Joy Division and great, raincoats yeah. and things like that, and people can understand so much of that, right. you know. <laughs> Looking for the next big thing in pop music? You may need to look no further than Manchester, England. A decade or so ago, Manchester was the wet, gloomy, altogether unlikely spawning ground of such now celebrated doom rock groups as The wow. Fall, The Smiths, Joy Division, and New Order. What is there about this deeply unlovely city that's Damn. nurtured so much great music? A lot of people check them out. Let me know. He's more into music than everywhere else because there's not really a lot else to do. Now, Manchester's unique brand of industrial board. Oh my God, Johnny Marr looked just like my buddy Gino. Wow. Gotta see that again. Okay, so we're fighting off, starting off with the Smiths. Good, good dose of the Smiths, some Johnny. Didn't know Matt Manchester Hart looked like a hardworking town, hardworking city back in the 90s, man. It's great back then, you know, just the, uh, before the dawn of the internet becoming public in the mid 90s. You know, you had all the time in the world to fucking play your guitar and write and just focus nonstop. I was a part of that in the 70s. I know what that's like uh, for a couple of years before I got into the club business. I uh, really enjoyed it. Had I not gotten into the strip joint business, I'd probably still be working with a band today, without a doubt. Oh. I I'm amazed. I got a map. I was going to use it as my background, but it was too yellow, though. Uh, but it's like a thousand bands on the thing from Manchester, and, and they're incredible. Amazing. A city that's nurtured so much great music. A lot of people in Manchester seem more into music than everywhere else because there's not really a lot God, else man, to do. Look like Gino, now, Manchester's bro. unique brand of industrial yeah. boredom has produced a second wave John, of wild man. new bands. And suddenly, this out-of-the-way city has become the center of the biggest Happy musical Monday, buzz baby. in all of England. I think all of this came about... Because there's Water. in England there's a program called Top of the Pops, and the three Pops. Manchester groups were in the charts on Top of the Pops all on the same night, and everyone went, "Wow, what's happening in Manchester?" The Manchester sound incorporates several styles, all of them tinged with a vintage psychedelic feel, from the trance dance excursions of Happy Mondays. Oh, look at that smile. And the trippy pop of Stone Wait State. Never heard of these guys. They don't. Wow. 
and the moody musical landscapes of In Spiral Carpets. I have heard of that. But Manchester pop is more than just a sound. It's also a lifestyle. Wow, okay, so awesome. I'm digging this, man, because I'm getting a little sense of Manchester. I'm hoping at some point I may get to... Oh, hold on. Moment. Sorry about that. I had to make a quick edit. Door buzzer going off. But nonetheless, outstanding. Loving the feel. Um, it's great to feel the vibe of, of what was going on prior to that. There's a few bands who I hadn't even heard of, heard of yet. The Fell or The Fall? Let me know about them. Um, but yeah, outstanding. Getting a sense of some older stuff. Feeling the zone. Feeling the hype, man. And now we're going to roll through a little Manchester. Because I'm hoping to get there if Oasis ever gets back together, man. Definitely be flying through there. Distinct subculture with its own ways of dressing up, getting high, and most notably, dancing. Somehow it all seems, well, sort of 60s. It's the top people, it's top buzz, top music, top atmosphere, no hostility, unity, unity. It's so friendly and everyone's having a good time. What we've done is, is like, sort of created the 90s interpretation of the hippie scene, you know, a, a more modernist view to it, but the, the basic structure's still there, and it does come from there, you know. Manchester fashion revolves around hooded sweatshirts, Timberland boots, and post-ridiculous bell-bottom pants, which the English call flares. Originally, people wore them because it was so out of it to wear them, I think. Well, that was an element of Man, I remember... Probably grade 7, grade 8. I used to wear a pair of flares, I guess you call it. We call them bell-bottoms flares and I remember they were baby blue and they had white images all over them and the white images were like feet <laughs> an outline of a foot <laughs> oh my god I can't believe I used to wear them fucking in school not a whole lot but I remember wearing them I remember flashing them they felt comfortable they felt good man I thought they looked great crazy man let's roll and also you could get them off your, off your, hit your parents get them off your dad or whatever if you're coming from America, the thing is to get up to Manchester and we'll fix it with a pair of flares, 26 inches wide, <laughs> and a Manchester T-shirt. That's regulation set. kit. So there vibrant is the Manchester scene that on Friday nights, people flock from all over England to soak up the sights and sounds at such places as the Hacienda Club, or yeah, the Hallucienda, as it's yeah. also called, an acid house mecca owned by New Order's label, Factory Records. They show up appropriately decked out and, of course, ready to dance. You see what we've been seeing here for... When did it start? It started in May, May 88 or whatever. You see children in a frenzy. I think it's, yeah, it's the people in here. Yeah. And the audience in the, in the club that make it, really, because they're all pretty wild people. And they don't give a damn about anything, you know. And it's just got a specific atmosphere. <laughs> We're all quite pleased with each other getting on now. I mean, everyone hates all that back slapping business that's been going on with it. You know, everyone's been on top of the pop. And, yeah. But there is a sort of... Top of the pop. I gotta have but a look as at local that. police never tire of noting, communal spirits aren't the only thing that's high on the Manchester scene. There's a lot of... Yeah, so definitely got to check out the top of the pops, I think it, they referred it to. I think there was some drama with it. So, yeah, definitely have to have a look at that. That was all about. Oh, we got Happy Monday guy here. Don Des. I think, yeah, I think. Of ecstasy in this town at one time. That's all, that's all people came for. Ecstasy time. I remember that, man. Something people in the club. True enough, off, apparently. Uh, Certainly there was something a lot more special than psychedelic drugs that drew some 20,000 people to the enormous GMEX complex last weekend to see Happy Mondays and 808 State perform. <laughs> It was something that couldn't be found down in snooty old London. A sound, a vibe, a real live hype free scene. Not heard of that one that Americans will be hearing a lot more about very soon. Thank you and good night, Manchester. Rules the way. No, I'm not wearing them. I don't care how hip they are. I will not wear flares. Angela, our stage manager, on the other hand, so this had to be to just the, prior uh, to the Oasis, then, right? Look. Congratulations on your fashion courage, Angela. Thank you. We Dora. appreciate it. Here's a band out of the Manchester scene right now: the Stone Roses with Fool's Gold. Oh, we're not going to get to see it. But for Unfortunately, that's the end of that little video. But hey, it was great. Didn't get. I thought maybe we get a little taste of Oasis, but. Yeah, so this looks like it was just prior to Oasis, man. 
There was a few other bands then, possibly, because there was Suede, I believe, there was Slade, uh, you got Blur, um, you know, so many other bands. I can name off Chameleons, the Charlatans. Just, you know, it's, it's so many more. It's incredible. Incredible. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. This is what I'm talking about in regards to that video. Let, let, let me see if I can get. But, but this is what I'm talking about. I think I got. It. Yeah, like here. Here's that image. Look at that. Manchester Madness right there, baby. Damn. Oh, wow. Love it. Crazy good. Outstanding. Get a little veal of the vibe, the hype, how they personally thought about it over there, what they were producing and sending out to the world. Okay. Unfortunately, I had naked women on my mind every day at that time. I knew nothing about England and Manchester at that time, unfortunately. But hey, fucking 2019, 2018, 20, 2020 now, baby. I'm rolling with them big time, baby. Loving the scene. Hey, my friends, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Love the vibe, man. Love the scene. I had no idea, man. It was just insane like that. Incredible. You know, loving it. Getting to enjoy it right now. Love it. Have a great day. Hit that like button if you enjoyed that. If not, let me know. Just cop. Rocking and rolling every day the best I can. See you all again soon. Take care. Stay happy, healthy. I see you all again soon. Stay safe, my friends. Peace out.